Good morning, everyone. Today we have with us one of our phenomenal visual arts teachers here in the school district, Jenny Akovich. Jenny, did I say your name right? Yes, thank Good. you. <laughs> and welcome. Welcome to our, our morning show. I feel like a radio hostess here. So, Jenny, when we close schools uh, and we were talking about teachers working remotely, one of the first things that struck me is like, how does an art teacher do that? Uh, so I wanted to know uh, what are your successes, some of your successes that you've had during doing art education online, and then we'll talk about what have been some of the challenges. Well, that, that was my first uh, question too, is how in the world am I going to teach art virtually because it is so hands-on. And I didn't know what kids had at their homes, you know, as far as materials and all. And then as I thought about it and started working and collaborating with some of my colleagues at Linda Hernandez and Tiffany Davis and Jen Ashcroft, uh, we decided we needed to come up with uh, creative ideas, like the pictures that I shared with you um, on how students could uh, do things at home with stuff they had in their houses and maybe work towards more like art history and art responses. And the students really did an awesome job where we came up with some lessons that they could just find objects in their house and um, go from there. And they honestly nailed it and did a great job. And I was astonished at what they accomplished. <laughs> Yes, so yesterday at a board meeting, I uh, presented the work that you did with the students where the students uh, sort of replicated a famous portrait. And everybody was so amazed of what the kids were able to do with that. How did you come up with that idea? Well, actually we saw it on the, um, I saw it online somewhere at the National Gallery of Art had put something out and people, families at their houses were choosing portraits in their gallery and recreating them. So then talking with my um, colleagues, we decided, well, let's choose some portraits that we think the kids would be interested in engaged and that they could still do at their homes. And that's how we came up with them. We just adapted what we saw from the National Gallery to create something for our students. Um, to do. And we really had no idea. I had no idea whether they would do it or not. This is all new to us. We, I've never taught virtually before. Um, and so, you know, I think uh, it just worked out and it was amazing to see. And it was very inspiring. It was. It was very inspiring. But I imagine that uh, there have to be many challenges that you and your fellow art teachers have to overcome in order to, you know, continue to have students participating in the arts. I mean, it's so important. Uh, so what are some of the challenges you are facing? Yes, the virtual is okay for now, but it certainly can't replace what we do in the classroom because it is so hands-on. And I was just getting ready to do class uh, clay projects with three grade levels. <laughs> And so trying to do something like that at home is quite difficult. Um, so that's a challenge. And I think trying to get maybe art supplies in the hands of students, you know, if we still have to continue with virtual learning uh, would be something, you know, to try to think about. But we also thought about, you know, those things at home, found objects. This week I had the students do a project where they had to um, create a color wheel with found objects in their house and the amount of toys and Legos <laughs> that they found and gathered. It was really cool to see. So you have to think about it in a different way, but it's hard because of the actual not having the hands on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, um, you know, we find ourselves in this difficult time in public education. What role do you think arts education and educators play during the pandemic schooling? Well, it's funny because just like teachers have now taken on such an important role in society, everybody's realizing how important the teachers are, especially now to the arts and art teachers, where if you look around the world at what's happening, people are singing and they're creating and they're um, dancing and collaborating and it's all over and it's providing um, you know, a healing process and a self-help and just inspiring people all over. So I think that 
you know, just as the teachers are, you know, we understand the important role they play in children's lives. The role that the arts are playing in all of our lives is important. You, you are so right. Um, it is healing. Um, when you see pictures of artists all over the world trying to support their neighbors and our uh, essential workers, and it's often through the arts. So yeah, thank you for that. Um, I think it's really important that we continue to support our kids because art does have an emotion and a release for kids. So I really appreciate what you and your fellow art teachers are doing and want to ask you just keep up the good work, keep up that creativity and keep yourself up too because I know it's hard for all of us adults as well. Thank you yeah. for being here. Thank you.